Today, hundreds filled an auditorium at Lake Michigan College in Benton Harbor to honor Joe Zangaro, one of two of the Berrien County court bailiffs shot and killed Monday by a suspect who had just appeared before a judge. 24-Hour News 8's Joe Lafergi is live in St. Joseph with more on the service. Some 1,500 people turned out here at the Mendel Center this afternoon to honor the 61-year-old who put his life on the line and made the ultimate sacrifice. The sky is gray. The mood solemn as the body of Joe Zangaro left the Mendel Center on the Lake Michigan College campus. Some 800 officers from all over Michigan, Indiana, and elsewhere came to say goodbye. They may not have known Joe Zangaro personally. They do know that it could have easily been them running towards instead of away from gunfire on Monday. Well, every police officer and everyone who works in the courts, you know, they, they go to work every morning and uh, they never know what the day brings is a common phrase of mine. And that was just a terrible day. And we're having those around the country. Zangaro, a Michigan State Police veteran who took over as security chief at the Berrien County Courthouse after he retired from the MSP, was one of two bailiffs shot after Larry Gordon, under investigation for the sexual assault of a teenager, somehow got a sheriff's deputy's gun and opened fire. Ron Kenzel, another bailiff who ran to the third floor Monday, was also killed. Deputy James Atterbury and a civilian, Kenya Ellis, were wounded in the incident, the latest to rock the law enforcement community. Berrien County Sheriff Paul Bailey talked about the outpouring of support and the appreciation expressed for Joe Zangaro, and not just for the people he helped. I got lots of calls from people that he had word calls on or arrested that said, hey, Joe was a fair and honest guy and treated me right. As for today's service, Sheriff Bailey says Zangaro would have appreciated the sentiments. But he would say, cry for a while, but go back to work and protect the citizens of this country. Kenzel's funeral will be here on Monday as well. And oftentimes we carry uh, these line of duty deaths, uh, police officers, firefighters, other first responders from inside the church. That's where our coverage originates. But the family wanted to keep that portion of the service private. They did allow us to share with you the outdoor portion of today's services. Live in Benton Harbor, Joe Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8.